What's going on everyone? It's Justin here and in continuation of the Dream Condo Makeover series, this is a special episode where I'm gonna be showing you guys a preview of the bathroom. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on bathroom tech. Some of the design features that I went with, the material choices, a little bit of the cool tech accessories, and I'm also gonna be talking about my hair dryer, the Life and Swift Special, and I wanna give a huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. If you guys would like to win a Life and Swift hair dryer, just go ahead and drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below about your favorite feature of the Life in, and also your Instagram username, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow both myself and Life in on Instagram, and I'll be contacting a winner directly on Instagram in two weeks. I'll be talking more about the Life in Swift hair dryer and its features later in the video, so make sure you stick around for that because there are so many amazing features, both in the design, the functionality, and the accessories that make it a great value option for the top-end features that it offers. So before we jump into showing you guys some of the details, let's talk about some of the design choices and the inspiration behind this bathroom. So in the past, my bathrooms have been very bright and airy, and my kitchens have kind of been a combination of that. I've done light ones, I've done dark ones, and so this project was really bringing everything together, and the base of it was a white oak herringbone with white walls, but with a contrasting walnut millwork and white stone. The layout is fundamentally the same. I reduced the number of sinks from two to one just because it is a little bit narrow. The toilet stays in the same place, and instead of having a shower and a bathtub, I instead added a bathtub to another bathroom and then turned my primary bathroom into one that has a very large shower that is walk-in. I also wanted to have stone wrapping throughout the walls. It just looks amazing and it also makes it a lot easier to clean. And so I went with Pietra Gray all the way around and a matching gray stone on the floor. I also wanted to have a large shower niche to be able to have all the different products and soaps and honestly, the bathroom is something that I am really, really pleased with. That I honestly think it looks perfect. There's a nice amount of lighting. There's a glow underneath. There's a perfect balance of dark and light without feeling too dark, but also feeling cozy at the same time. So yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to see this end result. So that is a bit of a preview of the design element. Let's then talk about the tech before we hop into the life and hair dryer. So the first thing you're gonna notice here is the light up mirror. It is really able to make this bathroom feel a lot larger than it actually is and having an LED around is really cool. Sometimes I actually don't have any of the lights on in the bathroom, I just have the LED mirror on and being able to change the different color temperatures and the brightness with a touch of the button is awesome. And the other small design touch that I also added on this side was a plug behind the toilet. I personally don't use a bidet, but I know a lot of people have that preference. And so while all the walls were opened up, I figured it was a good time to add a plug for future resale or in case I decide to add one down the road. Because I was changing all of the tile in the floor, another element that I was told to include was heated tile flooring. This is something that I definitely notice sometimes, but I would say it's one that I personally didn't care too much about but the touch control panel is on this side and throughout different schedules of the day, it will change that temperature. And I think it's one that really comes down to personal preference. The shower is the brand new Kohler Anthem system. And Kohler has been making a lot of tech products that are able to embrace modern day technology when it comes to touch screens. But what I love about the Kohler Anthem system that I went with is that it embraces analog and digital. You're able to use a dial to control the different temperatures and also the different modes, but it's also like a press down and intuitive interface that also allows you to interact with the touch screen as well. You're able to change the temperature and it does its best job to be able to keep the temperature at a constant and also allow you to micromanage that temperature to exactly what you would like to a given preset. The other tech element that I also included in this bathroom was a heated towel rack. This is something you might've seen at hotels or in some homes before, but it's the first time that I've added one and it is able to dry your towel or just warm it up before use. But at the end of the day, when it comes to my favorite features of the bathroom, I would say I really love the Anthem shower system. I obviously use it every single day. And I think if you're looking for a good hybrid of technology as well as analog control, then that is definitely something that you should go with. Another hidden element that I also added when it comes to tech is plugs in the drawers. Having a plug when it comes to USB-A and USB-C as well as some hidden outlets is great for being able to charge accessories such as the toothbrush, the shaver, um, and also the hairdryer. And being able to store it in a dedicated drawer like this 
is really nice because you then don't have to worry about the cables and it falling off. And these are just like design things that I noticed in my previous unit that I really wanted to take note and customize when tearing down this bathroom and redoing it from the ground up. But of course, as I said, something that I use multiple times a day is the hair dryer. And this is something that I'm really picky about, even though I have relatively short hair, because you guys mentioned that my hair looks exactly the same in every single video, and a hair dryer is a big part in how we're able to maintain that. And so let's go ahead and talk about the Lifen Swift Special, and why it's a really good affordable alternative that has all the great premium features of the best, most desired hair dryers on the market. So this right here is a Life & Swift Special, and it is a hair dryer that I currently have in my bathroom, and it's a great alternative for anyone who is looking for a high quality, premium, and professional hair dryer at a much more affordable price. I have used the Dyson before, you guys have seen me use it on my channel, and I absolutely love it, but it does come in at nearly double the price, I believe, and so for a lot of people, you're looking for that alternative, and this is definitely the best option that I've found so far. So first off, take a look at the design. It is relatively slim and compact, very streamlined, and this high-end model is made out of a nylon glass fiber, and I think it looks really clean. It's available in four different colors, including a blue, a white, a gray, and also a ruby red, and this white one right here just fits in perfectly with the bathroom. I mean, white stone with a gray contrast. I have it in my drawer over on the right side, which has been specialized for the hair dryer, and so this is an element of tech that I use multiple times times a day to be able to make sure my hair looks exactly the same in every single video. So I know most of the people who watch my videos are guys, and so I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of how I do my hair. It's honestly really simple, I'm really lazy, and I've kind of stuck with the same hairstyle fundamentally for so many years now. And so, yeah, I mean, the first thing I do when I get out of the shower is just give it a quick towel dry, leaving it a little bit moist, but then I'll turn the hair dryer to its highest setting and also the highest heat setting, and I'll use like a thin attachment like this to just mold the hair a certain direction towards the middle and out of the sides, and that is at the highest heat, just to give it a little bit of curl as well, because my hair is very straight and stiff, and after like 20 seconds of that, not much really, I'll just take the volumizer and set it to the warm setting and either between the high or the mid power and just continue to shape it towards the middle and curl it around. And again, I do that for like 30 seconds and after the hair is in like pretty close to finished state of what it looks like right now, I'll just go ahead and use a bit of matte shine paste not too much, I don't really like to have too much product, and then just mold it in, and that's pretty much what it is. It only takes like a minute or so. It's a really simple process. I've always tried to keep the daily routine to like under five minutes, because I'm honestly just too lazy to go through a whole bunch of different steps. So using the Life & Hair Dryer with the amount of power that it has, it's just easy to be able to achieve that. And that is why, even though I have relatively short hair and a very simple routine, having a powerful hair dryer like this is something that I really enjoy and have gotten used to, to the point where I actually bring this hair dryer on the road. So next we're gonna do a practical speed test between the Life & Hair Dryer as well as a generic one. So most notably, the speed is going to be a factor. In my case, I don't have long hair, so there is kind of a diminishing return in terms of the differences here. But if you have long hair, then having a more powerful hair dryer is a huge difference. From a styling standpoint though, another thing you're gonna notice is the consistency in the air. The Lifen has a very smooth delivery in terms of its flow, as well as the temperature variations, whereas a generic hair dryer is just a lot more, I guess, volatile. Obviously, they both serve their own purposes, but if you're looking for a high quality daily hair dryer, then the Lifen is a really good one from both the design standpoint and the performance. And just from my quick test here, you can see that. When it comes to some of the technicals of the Life & Swift Special, it has 110,000 RPM of power. The hot setting of the Life & Swift Special is 80 Celsius. The warm setting is 50 Celsius, and the cool setting is at room temperature. And you're able to easily cycle between these different modes, and the light indicator on the back will indicate which setting you're in. If you go ahead and long press the button, it will actually auto circulate through the different heating modes and as a result, give you a nice and consistent drying process that is quick, but also doesn't damage your hair or put too much strain on it. This hair dryer also has a negative ion technology, and what this does is, is reduce the static when you're trying to dry your hair and style it, and as a result, it'll make your hair shinier, but also reduce the amount of frizz. And my friend Anne is going to demonstrate that in a bit. I really 
really loved using this hair dryer. I love that I could just take off the different pieces, the different heads. They're magnetic, so they kind of just fly back on. Um, personally, for me, I always get a bit intimidated with hair dryers just because there's a lot of sound and movement and like different heads, and I don't know what's going on. So I really liked the Life End because the heads were just so easy to use. Um, it wasn't like a violent wind, it was very gentle on my hair. Uh, and I loved that it had just the two different settings for intensity. So yeah, so for someone like me who doesn't take a lot of time in the morning usually to do my hair, this was just so easy. Get out of the shower, do it for a couple minutes, take off the head, store it, whatever I want. And yeah, so I really liked using it. The way that it's able to maintain a very constant temperature and drying process is through the smart thermo sensor. That way, whichever mode you're in, it's able to see what the temperature is at at the moment and regulate that accordingly so you don't even notice any change throughout the drying process. It is also ultra quiet at just 59 decibels, and I know that matters to some people if you don't want to like wake somebody up. In my case, I don't really care about the amount of sound that it makes, but it is nice that it isn't obnoxious. But I love the fact that it comes in at a price point that is relatively affordable for all the features that you're getting and the same great design. And so if you guys want to go ahead and check this out, this is the Life in Swift Special that has the three attachments that are included but they actually also have a more affordable version than that, and that is the Lifen Swift SE. It gives you 105,000 RPM of power compared to 110,000 RPM, and it's built out of a polycarbonate structure as opposed to the nylon glass fiber. That might matter to some people, and it may not matter to others, but I do like the high quality material on the Swift Special. I definitely noticed that it isn't just like a plastic finish, but I mean, at the price point of the Swift SE, if you're just looking for a great hair dryer without the additional details, it is one that you should definitely check out as well. So if you guys wanna go ahead and learn more about the Life and Hair Dryer, I'm gonna drop a link down below. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.